So what's going on guys, it's JM Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click on 20 of my videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel, it is always appreciated. So Amir Khan has finally been took out of the number one spot with the WBC, he is no longer the mandatory challenger for the WBC Worldweight title and Amir Khan has been dropped out of the WBC rankings altogether due to inactivity. Amir Khan has had two fights since 2014. Like he fought Devin Alexander in 2014 to pick up the WBC silver title and I think he became the number one mandatory then. And then he fought Chris Algieri in a fight in which he struggled in. A lot of people thought Amir Khan would win that fight convincingly. I thought Amir Khan would win that fight convincingly at the time. But he didn't. He struggled with Chris Algieri. He was even wobbled by Chris Algieri. Like, Amir Khan's punch resistance nowadays is just totally terrible. And then after that, he moved up to middleweight. Well, kind of. He moved up to the £155 Canelo weight. To challenge Canelo for the middleweight title and was knocked out in six rounds and since then he hasn't fought and that was in May of 2016 and he hasn't fought since then and he doesn't look like he's going to fight anytime soon like I don't think he's going to fight in the summer because Amir Khan is a Muslim and he partakes in Ramadan so I don't see him training in the summer for a fight and who knows if Amir Khan is going to come back this year at all if he's going to have a fight this year at all is he going to fight at the end of 2017 is he waiting on the Errol Spence Brook winner but the WBC made the right move here because Amir Khan just hasn't fought enough in two years like he hasn't done anything in almost two and a half years Amir Khan he's had two fights one fight in which he struggled in and another fight in which he got totally knocked out and to quote the WBC president here, Mauricio Suleiman, he says, Amir Khan was mandatory before, then he fought Canelo, then he would remain as mandatory, but then he got injured. He has been out of the ring for so long that inactivity took over. So, yeah, Amir Khan has had hand problems, but I thought he had them hand problems sorted out a while ago. But he just doesn't look like he's coming back to the ring anytime soon, Amir Khan. Like, it's like he's waiting on a big fight. He wanted the Manny Pacquiao fight. He was trying to get something done over in Dubai so him and Manny Pacquiao could fight over there but his team couldn't get the funds for that fight and Bob Arum just said basically it was a load of bullshit and they moved on and Manny Pacquiao will fight Jeff Horn in Australia in July. So I don't know what's next for Amir Khan because Amir Khan is a good fighter. Like He's very fast, he's got a good style Amir Khan, he could trouble any welterweight if he doesn't get caught in a fight because his punch resistance nowadays is just awful he's never really had the best punch resistance anyway this guy was getting knocked out at lightweight but I don't know he just seems to be getting hurt a lot more now like when Chris Algieri is hurting you in a fight then that becomes a problem because Chris Algieri is not a big puncher I think in his 21 wins or something Chris Algieri's had I think he's only ever knocked out five or six guys so, I don't know what Amir Khan's going to do. He's probably waiting for the Errol Spence, Brook winner. But, if Brook beats Errol Spence, is Amir Khan going to step in with Kel Brook? Because I don't see um, Amir Khan stepping in with Errol Spence. I just don't see that happening. But, he's saying that he's ready now for the Kel Brook fight, that he wants to get it on. But, Amir Khan has said this for the past two years. And then he's just moved the goalpost by saying, oh... Kel Brook needs to do this and fight this guy and he hasn't won this and he needs to fight a top name and stuff like that and the money ain't right, I should be getting more money, I'm the A-side and Amir Khan has really messed about his career the last couple of years and who knows how long Amir Khan has left and it's interesting to see what he's going to do next what do you guys think of this, comment below in the comment section do you guys think Amir Khan will fight this year do you guys think he'll get in the ring with any top contender this year? Because this is just a guy who's just sitting around waiting for something that might never happen for him. So yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM at Sweetboxing.